Yeah, big old jumpy leg. Yeah, that was it there, huh? Most time with him thus far, so he's getting used to seeing me and yeah, recognizing my voice. Okay. And yeah, so he used to perk up when we came around the corner, which is really cool. So he's doing really well. He's settling in nicely. Uh, so this is our new rhino exhibit. It used to be a bongo exhibit that we re-outfitted for a rhino. Um, you can see that there's a lot of larger features in this exhibit than what we had for bongo. So there's a nice beautiful ramp so we can come down into the moat if you would like. Up front behind some of this rock work here, there's going to be a big beautiful mud wallow that he will spend hopefully a lot of his time in in the summer times. So it'll help keep him cool. And then if you look towards the back of the exhibit, there's a large barn space, um, which we will call his Boma. It's his interior yard. Um, currently he's in that space getting used to us, getting used to the zoo, and just generally settling in. So this is Jay Gregory, or Jay Greg as we like to call him, or just Jay, depends on my mood. Um, he is our new white rhino, or southern white rhino. He came from San Diego Wild Animal Park. Um, he arrived yesterday, so we're super excited that he's here with us now. Um, he's doing beautifully settling in, enjoying his new diet of Bermuda hay, and just getting to know his keepers. First time we've ever had rhino here, um, so we're really, really excited to have this new species. He's a great ambassador for his species, and I'm just excited to take care of him every day. They call him Gentle Giants. We all joke that he's a 5,000 pound puppy dog, and he really, really is. He's super sweet and, uh, you know, wouldn't hurt a fly as they would say. We're also so fortunate that we can partner with the International Rhino Foundation to work on rhino conservation. There's obviously a lot of threats facing rhinos in the wild. So having someone like Jay Gregory here that helps us engage with our guests about the threats that rhinos face and how we can participate in conservation. It's just an amazing visual representation of how incredible they are and how much work we need to do to keep them safe. 